welcome back and today I was gonna show you some of the things that um, I'm gonna be doing before before and after practice so the first thing always is to stretch um, I just do normal stretches that I learned in elementary school and those have seemed to work pretty well throughout my whole life so the first one I do is just uh, this uh, regular arm stretch just a few seconds on each side then you switch to this one behind the head switch to the other arm just hold them for about five seconds I would say it's more than enough then I like to do this one where you stretch your uh, your uh, I think it's your shoulder the stretches here yeah yeah, I like to stretch to uh, stretch my wrist. So I just do this. I put my my fingers on the edge on on an edge, and then I just press down. And you do the same on the other side, like that. You lean back a little bit with this one, and then again here. Now you're gonna stretch your quads. Oops. Like that. I always try to balance it with one leg, but I, I'm not that good at it. Then the other side. Now your hamstring. I believe it's your hamstring. This one. Now I like to stretch my calves too. So I just put it on a wall and I lean forward. That should stretch it. Then I like to do it to the other side stretch. Mm, I don't know what that's called, but stretch your foot like that. Always feels good. Then to prevent uh, rolling your ankles, these are always good. And even if you're not uh, practicing, it's always good to do it because it strengthens your your joints. Like that. Then, uh, oh, this one too. For the splits. Someday I wanna do like uh, John Club Van Damme. I'm a big fan of him. Like that. And well, I was gonna show you right now the what I've done, how, how much I've progressed doing the handstands. So the first time I did it, it lasted for about maybe a second. So let's see how long I last right now. So that was a little better and then uh, I was gonna show